everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Diamond for the Nintendo DS Part 34. Last part, we left off at Mount Coronet with uh, Rowan and Dawn, but I left their side to continue my Pokemon's journey, because we are heading to Sunny Shore City. Oh, and in case you guys forgot, behind Dialga there was an Adamant Orb, I ran up and grabbed that off camera. The Adamant Orb helps to boost the power of Steel and Dragon type moves from Dialga, so that's awesome. I already attached it to him. And now Dialga will make his Pokemon Battle debut today. So let's see what he's made of. As for Voodoo, I'll have to work on him off-camera later. Probably after the 8th gym is done. Route 222. And our first trainer. Sounds like a golden eye Bond wannabe. I'm quite bored. Care to break the monotony? Care to have a martini with that attitude? What do you got, rich boy? Trey? He's got a Luxio camera! No, it's a Luxio the Pokémon, never mind. Okay, Infernape. Time to hit it with a Fire Blast. Yay, it didn't miss. Fry and die, please. You better go down to this. I actually hit a Bronzong back at Mount Coronet with a Fire Blast, and it actually survived with about a third of its health left. I guess that one probably had fireproof. That's the only explanation for that. The monotony was broken, but... But what? Give me your cash! Alright, Dialga, it's time for you to shine, buddy. Let's switch him to the front of the party. Yes, this is like the first Pokémon game I'm actually using a Legendary on my team. So I'm breaking some new ground. Hi, Traveler! How would you like to battle? Do you have Magikarp? If so, you're just wasting my time. Fisherman Alec. Oh dear, a Dialga vs. a Magikarp? What kind of match is that? Oh jeez. Alright Dialga, it's lunchtime. Enjoy. Let's use Ancient Power. This fish ain't worth the other three of my attacks. And maybe I'll get a stat boost with Ancient Power. Ah, uh, Gyarados, huh? We're gonna keep battling. This ancient power can do super effective. I'm just gonna lower my physical attack. Doesn't matter because I'm using my special. So screw you, Gyarados! Wham! Eat rocks! Ugh, didn't one shot, dammit. Aqua Tail. Yeah, Dialga resists that. Steel Dragon is a nice unity, I'll tell you that. The steel kind of, you know, protects Dragon's weaknesses, and Dragon kind of protects Steel's weaknesses, so they really help each other out. Um, uh, hmm. Let's use... Why not? Uh, no, another Ancient Power. I want to save more of time for later. I might end up dropping Metal Claw for Flash Cannon, because it'll run off Dialga's special attack. I think his special attack's better than his physical. And Fisherman Alec will have to retire and find another career. You sure showed me up. Yes, now fork it over. Those yummy greens. Yeah, Dialga, these chumps aren't even worth your time. So let's uh, give Hodgecrow some time to shine now. Wee. Go, my murder crow. I'm getting bored of fishing. Let's have a quick battle. Why don't you take a swim, then? Alright, Fisherman George. And more Magikarp. Blah. I'm getting tired of seafood. I yearn for pizza, Chinese, and other types of delicacies. Nice slash. Get owned. No crit, but it wasn't necessary against this pathetic fishy. And next up, we got a Remoraid. Hey, it's something different. That's like the only fish I know that evolves into an octopus. Explain that to me, please. How does that work? Take that. And Remoraid can go chop on something else. Like dirt. 
Next up, we got Gyarados back for more. Okay, time to switch out to Giraffe Rig, who has the epic thunder. I just hope he doesn't miss with it. But I got save state for that, so I'm not worried. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and lower my physical attack, which I'm never going to use anyway. So save to one, in case I miss. And thunder! Yeah, eat that, sucker! Fry and die, again! Thunder rocked it, like a hurricane! And next up is Finian! I think it's the first time I've seen that. I'll keep battling. Sound like it was doing a little... Sound like doing like a rap song. Very weird noise it has. Hmm, let's use a uh, Psychic. Now, Fidian looks pretty cool, but I think its stats are kind of bleh. Yeah. Just go back to being a DJ, Fidian. A uh, Fisherman George defeated. I've been done in. By a giraffe. Okay, um... Let's continue right see what's over here on the beach. More fishermen, oh god. Actually, before I fight them, I want to see what that item is. Up the stairs. Down the stairs. Oh, hey, berries. Wiki berries. Yes, Wikipedia berries. They inform you as you eat them. Nago berries. I don't have much of a joke to make out of that one. Nago's an odd name. Aqua berries. Yeah, I can't say much about those either. How about this last group? A quiet berry. It's a quiet berry. Shut up, you. Those berries permanently seal your lips. I don't know. What do we got over here? This item. It's a honey. Yeah, that's great. Maybe I'll give it to, like, a Hungry Snorlax or something, I don't know. Hello, woman. After enjoying a meal at the hotel restaurant, one has a battle. That's the social etiquette. Why do you talk using big words? You're confusing me. Beauty Nicola, send out Low Punny. What's so funny, Low Punny? Do you want some honey? No. I will not give it honey. Instead, I will give it a sucker punch if it attacks me? I don't know. No, it doesn't attack. It's using agility. Oh boy. Okay, maybe it'll attack me now. Sucker punch. Yes, it tried to attack me now. Wee. A critical hit. Yeah. Maybe Low Punny was gonna throw out a takedown or something, I don't know. And that does it for Nicola. Enchanting! What was enchanting? It wasn't that battle because you did poorly. Hmm. Alright, fishermen. What else you got for me? I'm in the middle of fishing, but okay, I'll be happy to sink you. Boy, aren't you an arrogant one! Let me drown you now. Fisherman Brett. You ain't no hitman hard, I'll tell you that. Go, Hunchcrow. Let me see. We're gonna do Nice Slash again. More Nice Slash spam. Those terrifying talons. Yay, another crit. Can't wait till I get Scope Lens. It'll make Hunchcrow even, Hunchcrow even that more broken. Blah. Keep battling. Fidian! Yeah, make that very weird rap sounding noise thing. Alright, down goes Fidian. Yeah, when he evolves, he becomes very strange looking. 
And he really doesn't get all that much stronger either. Oh, Feebas. Oh, uh, we'll keep battling. Yes, Feebas. These things are even more rare to find than Magikarp. And Feebas absolutely sucks too, but it evolves into something pretty awesome, kind of like how Magikarp does. Whereas Magikarp evolves into Gyarados, this thing evolves into Melodic, and Melodic is pretty damn sweet. I think Melodic is more special attack based, and Gyarados is more physical attack based. And Melodic doesn't have that glaring quad weakness to Thunder either, since it's only pure water. Whoa! Yes, more money in my pocket. Now you! If I stare at the water's surface for too long, I begin to forget what I was doing in the first place. Yeah, I tend to have a bad attention span myself. Fisherman Cole. Garamados. Oh boy, I don't have my giraffe rig out. This could be bad. Oh, poopers. And I don't have a uh, haze to deal with that, so I'm gonna switch. Let's go to giraffe rig. Which, if I knew Gyarados was coming, I would have had it out. Oh crap, Hydro Pump! No! Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Okay, maybe not as much as I thought. Gyarados isn't really known for its special attack. Okay, let's um, save in case I miss with Thunder. I don't want to miss. Wee! Yeah. No, 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 no. Yay, missing. Sorry. Load back to one. Try again! There we go, that's more like it. 100% accurate thunder! <laughs> Can't go wrong! Screw you, Rain Dance, I got save state! And the Gyarados is toast. Yay, Hunchgrow hit level 48. Always a good thing. And next up we got Remoraid. And let's switch out to... Uh, my Aqua Piggy. Gastrodon hasn't had any action yet. Alright, Gastrodon. Time to hit this Remoraid and make him into Kool-Aid with, uh, Mud Bomb. And I friggin' miss with that, great. Should've saved state knowing that move was gonna miss as well sometimes. Don't miss this time, please. Yay. And that should be enough to take it out. Yay. I really want Earth Power. Okay, next up we got another Gyarados. Oh, God. Come on, Giraffe Rig. Need your thunder again. Whee. I yeah, better get ready to save again in case Thunder decides to miss. I want to speed this up. Oh, so many Karadoses. Save again. One. Thunder, go. Yay, didn't miss. Goodbye, Gyarados. You are done. Thunder from the heavens will rock you. And it sucked you out. Yay, level 53. Alrighty, and that will do it for Fisherman Cole. I don't know how, but I lost! All your Pokemon fainted, that's why. Alright, Tuber. Listen, listen, can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you have? How about no? I want to go home. Alright, Tuber, Holly, and her Remoraid. And what level is it? 43? And you haven't involved it into an Octillery yet? Why? I don't get it. Night nice Slash. And down it goes. You no, know, girl, if you would have had it into an Octillery, you probably would have survived one hit. You're so tough, I'm stunned. Of all of your Pokemon. Okay, what? who lives in here? Pikachu Fan Club, no. Who lives here? Pokemon Size Contest, don't care, no. How about you? When I first started fishing, catching anything made me happy. But those days are long gone now. 
Now I get annoyed if I can't beat my record by even an inch. Alright, let's cream this rock and see what we got over here. Go, Bidoof! My Bidoofus. Let's see, anything worthwhile over here to grab? Doesn't look like it. Ah! Pokemon Battle didn't want that. Hey, it's, the, it's a different hybrid of Gastrodon. It's like the Eastern version of Gastrodon. I have the Western version of Gastrodon. Eastern version is pink with brown, and the... Uh, uh, actually, no, the Western version is... Uh, has the pink and brown, the Eastern version's got the blue and green. Hey, we got another useless honey. Uh, yeah, totally not worth coming over here. Alright, let's get Dialga out. I want to give him some more battles. Maybe get him a level up. Get something worthy. Yeah, let me check out Dialga's stats real quick. I want to see if its special attack is better than its physical. Special attack, yes, it is better. By like 20-something points. Yeah, with the Adamant Orb boost, yeah, Dialga's gonna be leaving some, uh, major Denson opponents. That's gonna be fun to do. Oh, let's see. Did I move Dialga to the front of the party? Yes, I did. The only items you ever throw are Pokeballs. But is that true? I want people to think about that. That's why I give away the Technical Machine Fling. A Fling, which I'm probably never gonna use. Using that move, the Pokémon hurls whatever item it's holding at the foe. The move's effect depends on what item is hurled. Remember, the move Fling fails if the Pokémon isn't holding anything. Yes, I kind of got that idea. I can't explain it. I get more easily agitated at night. In other words, yeah, he'll only battle you at night. Ooh, there's an item over there. I might want to check that out after this uh, double battle. Let's see, we're going to pair Dialga up with... Uh, Let's do the Dialga and Fernape team. That sounds like fun. Alright, double battle. Let's go. Look, look! Look at my Pokemon! It's really cool! And you? Zella boy? Oh, we'll run upon the sea in a boat. Just you and me. That's the way of the sailor. Way of the sailor. Sing it! Dig it! <laughs> yes, the Macho Man voice wasn't intentional. You are challenged by Tuber, Connor, and Sailor Mark. And you got a man tyke and wow. How eh. That's just Really, is that the best you could do? That's very underwhelming. Ugh, whatever. Let's just Dragon Claw the Remoraid and We'll grass not the man tyke, I guess. Take that. Wow, it took it pretty convincingly. Well, Dragon Claw's gonna wipe out Remoraid easily. Goodbye. Well, Mantike is also a part of flying, so it kind of resists grass that way. And Mantike's got naturally good special defense. Now it's hammering and furting with a water pulse, which only does about a fourth. Let's see. Hmm. Dragon Claw Mantike, go. Another Grass Knight to Grass Knight to Mantike. And if it doesn't finish him off, Dragon Claw will. Goodbye. And down it goes. And that will do it for those two. Wow, I had to hold on tight to my inner tube. Your Pokemon, they're looking good. Okay, now let's go check that item over there that I want to see. Let's get some jogging done. Hoo ha, moo wa, poo wa, su wa, supa wa. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All right, be doofus, cut this down. And what item hides over here? We have a Carbos! Hmm. Sounds good, I guess. Let's go use that Carbos. 
Who needs a speed boost here? Let's give it to Dialga. Why not? Anything else I'd like to use? Uh, PP up. Let's use it on Dialga. Let's give him another roar of time to use. Why not? And I think that'll do for now. Yeah, once we get in the sunny shore, we're going to be cutting it off because we're, you know, we're in the 20 minutes already. So we'll try to get a little more done here. I think there's like one more trainer before we enter Sunny Shore. Home to the last gym in the game. It takes both brains and brawn when you're out at sea. Aye, it's not an easy job to sell his life. Yes, now get back on the poop deck before I poop all over you! Sailor Luther and a feebass. Oh, wimpy little thing. Ugly little thing, too. Alright, Dialga, let's use Dragon Claw. Whammo! And there goes the Feebass. Dialga laughs at that pitiful fish. Next up, we got a choke. Hey, something that's actually a legit threat. Oh, let's keep battling. I want to demonstrate Roar of Time. <laughs> That'll be fun to use. Very, very fun. So let's save well before we try and use it. Let's go to one. Roar of Time! Bam! 150 base power dragon special. Coming off of Adamant Orb. And Stab. Yeah, Machoke had no chance. It's essentially a dragon type hyper beam. And since we used it, we have to have a recharge, or we have to waste a turn to recharge, so we're gonna have to switch out here. Um, I didn't see the uh, opposing Pokemon I was gonna be fighting, but I don't care. Let's bring out Infernape, I'm sure he'll be a match for whatever it is. Okay, who's next? We got Gastrodon, which is perfect! Hey, you stole my Gastrodon! Thief! Grass Knot, kill! The perfect move to take it out. Quad weakness to grass. No chance. And there goes Aqua Piggy. And Sailor Luther is down. Glub, glub, glub. Yeah, it looks like he drowned in his own gurgle. I don't know. And we got a honey tree there, but don't care for it. So let's enter Sunny Shore. Sunny Shore's gym leader has been bored lately, I hear. Apparently, there's been a lack of worthwhile challengers. Well, lucky for him, here I come. If I had to describe Sunny Shore gym in a word, it'd be shockingly electric. Whoops, that's two words. Hey, you can count. Sunny Shore, and... Who's this guy? Yo, fellow trainer. Your Pokemon are secure inside their Pokeballs, but there's no masking that aura of serious toughness. Oops, sorry, I should introduce myself. The name's Flint. I am one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. I just had this idea. Maybe you could pull it off. It's about this town's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there have been so few good challengers worth his time. He's been so bored, he spends all his time renovating the gym. And then the blackout happened. That sure didn't help lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. Okay, Flint with the weird redded hair afro thing going on. This is a major port town, and it's the gateway to the Pokemon League. Oh boy. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go heal up here, and then we're gonna cut it off. We got quite a bit done already. And I might actually pull Boodoo out of the PC and start working him up at some levels. So hopefully I'll have a Roserade by the time we get into the Pokemon League. My full team should be compiled. Alrighty, that should do it for this part. We got quite a bit done. Alrighty folks, stay tuned for Let's Play Pokemon Diamond for the Nintendo DS Part 35. When we will head to the Sunny Shore City Gym Leader. Hopefully beat him for our 8th gym badge, 
And then afterwards, we'll try and train Voodoo up and maybe get him into a Roselia followed by a Roserade, if luck goes our way. And we'll see what else we can accomplish. Anyway, see you then, peoples!